So, I don't know if you've heard, but a company just released this uh, cap that has mm -hmm. padding around it for, for pitchers mm -hmm. to protect against line drives. Would you ever consider wearing that? Uh, I mean, if they told me I had to wear it, obviously I would, but at this point in time, it's not really something that I'm interested in doing. Hmm. Is uh, Do you think about consciously line drives coming back at your head? Is that like something that's always uh, in your mind? Or I no? mean, not, not when you're out there, no. Um, obviously, when you see somebody else get hit or you have one kind of whiz by your head that's pretty close, right. it's, it, it's a thought. But uh, there's never really a conscious thought about it for me out there anyway. Have you had a really close call before? I've had a few, yeah. 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 Also, this season, um, MLB is starting an expanded replay system. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think about that? Do you think it's good for the game? Oh, I don't know, guys. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm, 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 I think the, the term old school gets overused, um, but I'm obviously probably one of the older guys in the league at this point and definitely on this team, and um, I kind of like the game the way it is, but, you know, it's one of those things where it could be great for the game. Uh, I guess we're going to find out. So I guess you'd be against uh, robot umpires calling balls and strikes? I don't know. I don't know if I would be totally against it, but I know that there's a lot of hitters that wouldn't like it. Because <laughs> uh, I think there's, you know, there's some balls that, that go through the strike zone and, and aren't necessarily when the catcher catches it in the strike zone right. anymore. But the ball definitely crosses through the strike zone at some point. Right. And if those ball, those balls are all of a sudden start called strikes and the catcher isn't catching it in a strike zone, uh, right. I don't think the hitters would be too happy. Well, right, because the rule book is uh, knees to letters, I believe, but that's not really what's enforced. Uh, yeah, I mean, every it's, that's one of the, ni the nice things about baseball is every guy has his own thing, and that's one of the things that you have to learn and study and figure out. And Some guys are knees to letters, and some guys aren't. Okay, I have to ask, uh, kind of a long time ago now, before Japan, back when you were first stint with the Giants, Right. Um, you played in a game against the Diamondbacks, I think it might have been in 2003. Um, the no, game, 2001. 2001? Yep. It was 18 innings. Yes, sir. Um, you hit a leadoff double, and you proceeded to be stranded. Do you have any memories about that game? I do, because that was my first major league hit. <laughs> was it? Yeah, my first major league at bat. Okay. Because uh, I was actually at that game. Okay. And it was so, yeah, I have actually a very, very vivid memory of that night. Oh, because I think the, the previous half inning, they pulled ahead. I think it was just a one-run lead. Yeah. And you had a leadoff double, I think, uh, I think towards center right side. I hit it. You see the celebrate the walk-off? Yeah. I think it hit the the. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that was my first major league at bat. Wow. Do you remember who it was against? Miguel Batista. Oh, wow. That's a pretty good pitcher to face for the first time. Yeah, and I got straight into third. We lost one nothing. Uh, yeah, and it was uh, and I, and the run I gave up. There's a guy on second with two outs, a Rubio Durazo. You remember him? Yeah. He's left-handed, obviously, and I jammed him so bad he hit a ball down the left field line. And when he hit it, I thought it was a foul ball in the seats. So right. I, I look at the umpire like this to get an, another ball. And I look at him, and he's looking at the ball like this. So I turn around, and the wind was blowing so bad, it blew it right back on the field. Wow. And it hit the chalk line. That was wow. how I gave up the run. Yeah, that was a pretty wild game. Yeah, and then I hit the double, and I thought, oh, my gosh, I'm going to get my first major league win tonight too. Yeah. Because I was sitting in the leadoff spot. Right. That was my spot. So I had Richie hitting behind me. And, and Barry. And Barry and Jeff and JT. And I thought for sure we were going to score a run. Or yeah. at least two to win the game. I think Aurelia advanced you to third. Aurelia, Aurelia, something happened to Richie. No, something happened to Richie where he got the first and I was still in second. Oh, okay. And then right. Barry hit a ground ball to second, yeah. and they tried to turn two, and he beat the throw to first. You're right, you're right. So now it was first and third, and they walked Jeff to load the bases. And Rios hit a fly ball to – um. Rios hit a fly ball to center field that was too shallow for me to tag on. Wow, yeah. And then Benito popped up and we lost. That was game was over. Do you think about just going just to risk it? Well, I started to go and he was like, no, 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 no. And it was a good thing because Finley threw an absolute strike to home. Wow. I would have been out by a mile. That's a pretty incredible recollection. I mean, that was my first hit. Yeah. You know? Do you think that's a common thing among players? I'm sure. I'm, I mean, I have, a, I'm, I have a terrible memory when it comes to, like, people's names. Right. Um... I remember faces real well, but names I'm terrible. But I can remember what I did 
what pitches I threw a guy from like 15 years ago wow. and, and games and stuff like that. I just have a really good memory when it comes to baseball. That's a really valuable trait, I imagine, yeah. especially for a pitcher. You know, sort of like a computer. You can go yeah. back and like, oh, I struck him out. You know, with this like pitch, high yeah. or something. Absolutely. Do you adjust? Like, if you've you've been on the Giants now in this stint for like three years now, or yeah. this will be your this will be year? four. Four. Okay. Um, would you say that you've had to change your approach to hitters that you've been facing a lot? Absolutely, because they change to you. Right. That's kind of why this, they call it the cat and mouse chess game, you know, because you do one thing and they, they fix theirs. And then so now it's my job to fix mine and then they fix theirs. It's uh, it's the back and forth match. Awesome. Um, I, also, I guess I have to ask, um, it, while in Japan, um, mm-hmm. I lived there for two years, so that's why I want to ask. Is there like a, a funny, like ridiculous moment that you had with the culture crap? Uh, crash? Yeah, I mean, I had one, but I can't tell you that. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, I mean, I had a guy yelling at me on the train one night because he said I was talking, you know, they, he thought I was talking too loud. Too loud? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Same thing to me. Like, yeah. an old man. He called me a guy gin and all kinds of stuff, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty par for the course yeah. in my experience. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Okay. All right. Well, well thank, thank you so much. Yeah. Yep. Good to see you guys. Best of luck this Have season. Have a good one.